Hi viewers, this is Faisal. Okay, actually this video is uh, really, I made this video to show you guys how actually you upgrade your FreePBX 14 to FreePBX 15, the latest version. So, uh, on the admin side you have here a new upgrade tool which is provided by the Sangoma. So you need to click that 14 to 15 upgrade tool and uh, you have here uh, a welcome page welcome to the free pbx 15 update updater so uh, first of all you need to actually check the requirements that uh, you can easily upgrade or not so for that you need to click the check the requirements button Uh, this is kind of like an easy thing to do, but uh, sometimes there are some difficulties on the way of uh, upgrading. Like uh, you can get some, like you you can get some of the modules, uh, obsolete modules, and you need to upgrade them before you proceed. Or sometimes you can uh, you you face different type of issues like. Uh, you need to you need to disable those modules or they are like i am have, uh, facing this issue right now in the orange it's kind of like a warning to me that uh file ownership of this 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 uh where wwhtml will not be verified until right before the upgrade process starts if this is an issue upgrade so uh, for this kind of issue you can just simply go to your uh, cli module and you can just type this command there and it will simply show you if if, if this is kind of like an error to you or if, or if it, this is kind of like an error for free bbx and which can uh, stop the process of upgrading or is this just a, a simple issue or without any issue you can upgrade so this is actually a warning for me i have uh, want this command already, but I have not found any issues on my PBX system So I can proceed to the upgrade process and you can see now it's giving me the It's showing me the two steps uh, one is the verification of this Verify the system information and second step is the upgrade system so simply press the next button and uh, the upgrade is uh, started you can see uh, it's submitting data to the servers and it will go through some checks and after that uh, start actually upgrading the whole system uh, which is totally I, I can say that with the FreePBX 14 is actually an obsolete system and FreePBX 15 is uh, done with a lot of new modifications, a lot of new customizations and new interface. Uh, it's actually not a new interface, but uh, they, they have changed some uh, color scheme of the GUI. Uh, and uh, it's actually a color scheme like uh, their new logo, the Sangoma, uh, showing on the left side. So it will match that uh, color scheme of the logo you will gonna like it here yeah, I know that okay this is actually taking some taking some time to download and upgrade the system I'm going to pause the video here and when I am when we will uh, like we are near to the uh, to the upgrade process and then I'll resume that video to show you guys what actually is going on okay okay guys uh, I just resumed the video here uh, it's almost done and I wanted to actually show you guys what's actually going on behind the scenes here you can see it you can see here so it's actually upgrading all the libraries all the modules all the uh all the stuff in the uh where wwhtml 
and and there are a lot of actually usually it's uh it's an update related to the GUI side of the uh, free pbx so you can see here it's actually upgrading everything every module and everything here so we are very close to uh, the latest upgrade here as you can see it's almost done uh, yeah it's actually um, interesting to see uh, this upgradation and uh, and I'm really happy to see this upgradation because um, 15 is really a uh, new design uh, there are a lot of new features like there's a calendar integration uh, there, there is a integration you can integrate your uh, you you can integrate actually your uh, Active Directory with with the new free PBX 15 as well, and lots of other upgrade, lots of other new features added to the free PBX 15. So here we are, no module left to upgrade. We are done here. Just refresh and see what what's going to happen. What's going to happen here? So you, as you now you can see that we 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 have come up with a new uh, I can say that uh, it's really a cool new interface. Everything is is same, but uh, they actually changed the look of the of the PBX with the, with their logo. So it's really interesting to watch this a new look and okay so you can see here there is some error so as i apply the configuration it will be removed and we will check later what's that error what that uh, what's the error actually is so but the pbx is upgraded uh, we have done with the we are done with the upgrade here just reloading the configurations and it's done so you can see here uh, you can check your stats here you can check the lifetime uptime here one hour and 46 minutes i just uh, turned on this machine one hour ago and the cpu utilization here you can see what is the load value so you can check the memory here the ram utilization 62 percent in use so and then the disk utilization and here is oh, it's seven percent it's showing seven percent so network how much profit is transmitting in and out This is 2.81 is the transmission rate and 432.27 MB is the actually receiving. So this is it guys. Hope you like this new. So it says uh, FPU module automatically in library. So there is uh, some issue at the dashboard side. Uh, let me check if we can solve the issue and we go to the module admin and we select the repositories and check online whether we have a new upgrade or to the dashboard or anything else let's see so it's checking everything and it will sh give us the okay mm -hmm. we can upgrade the module
okay so actually we are done with the upgrade but uh, there's a little error uh, on the system overview side so we cannot see the overview of the system this is it uh, in my next video i will try to fix this issue and i will show you guys how to fix the fix this uh, uh, system overview issue okay thank you guys thank you for watching Take care. Bye-bye.